time to celebrate a special birthday. Maybe you think reaching 100 is impressive. Well, it is. But for our next guest, it's kind of old news, because they did that just after the Wall Street crash in 1929. So the name is Jonathan. He is a tortoise, and he's thought to be 190 years old. Which means kind of, just to put this into perspective, so he was around five years old when Queen Victoria took the throne. So there he is, little baby tortoise-ish. And then he would have been in his 70s when the Wright brothers took their first flight. I'm enjoying this. He'd have been in his 80s when television was first broadcast. And then he really grew up, 140 years old, when the first man landed on the moon. And now in... Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. I can tell you now. In 2022... Uh, St Helena, which is where we're going now, preparing for his 190th birthday. He is not moving that fast. I can tell you that straight away. We can go to um, Teeny Lucy, who is with Jonathan the Tortoise. Good morning, Teeny. Morning to you. How <laughs> are you? And tell us about this extraordinary milestone. 100, 190 years old. Explain to people how it is you know that uh, he has reached that extraordinary age. Well, that is the absolute best estimate. And actually, it could, he could be older than that because he was landed here in 1882 um, by sailing ship. He was gifted to the, the current governor, Gray Wilson, at the time. And um, it's in the archives written down that that's when he came to the island. And he was already a fully grown, mature tortoise and we know that they mature at the age of around 50, 50 plus, really. And he hasn't grown anymore since he got here. So um, that's the absolute best, best estimate. And um, the, um, it has been agreed with, with various um, tortoise specialists all over the world. Teeny, morning. It's Naga here. What are you feeding, Jonathan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, he loves his food. <laughs> what is for breakfast? What are you feeding him? Okay, so we're feeding him um, this morning. He's having some fresh uh, island guavas. We call them guavas here, um, which grow on uh, a lot of trees at this time of year. And he's having some bananas, and those two are some of his favourite fruit. But he has a real a wide variety of diets including cabbage, lettuce, carrot, apple, pear, whatever we, we can get, really. What is, and, um, what's it all his, helps to be... What's his personality like? Kind of, what's his character like? He's a I have to say. He really is. Um, and um, he's delightful. He, he knows uh, certain people. He knows my voice. I know he does. And the vet that usually feeds him as well. Um, and um, he, he's just meandering around his paddock, doesn't get in anyone's way. I think at his age he's entitled to <laughs> just chill out a bit, really. Far be it from me, Tini, to, to criticise a 190-year-old uh, animal, but he's a messy eater, isn't he? He's a messy eater. <laughs> well, banana does squish everywhere, which is why we normally have to get a bit of cabbage or or lettuce and, and clean him up a bit. <laughs> and, and he is a messy he's a me it's, We can see Tini behind you. It's a beautiful backdrop, by the way. I can see the ocean just behind you there. What a, what a glorious place for, hi uh, for him to see out his years. Oh, well, he's, he's been here ever since, actually, he, he, when he first came here. This is where, behind me there, you can't see, um, but it, there's a big plantation house, and the governors of St Helena have always lived there. And so Jonathan is very familiar with his home paddock. Um, he's had all his years to get to, to know it, even though he's got cataracts now. And we're pretty sure he's mostly blind and he's lost his sense of smell. But um, nevertheless, he, he negotiates his way around really, really well. <laughs> um, Teeny, has he got any friends? Uh, apart from you, obviously, and, you know, the people. Has he got any, are there any other tortoises that he kind of chills with, I don't know, socialises yeah. with? Yeah, the, the, there's um, four tortoises here all together. Um, he's got a, a, a mate called David and a, another one called Fred and another one called Emma. Um, and um, 
he's been with them a long time, but they're not really herd animals. They don't spend a lot of time together, really. Can you encourage, uh, I don't know if it's appropriate, can you encourage Jonathan to sort of walk around a bit for us? Is he mobile, is he mobile still? Is he, does he get around? Indeed. Well, um, I might be able to. If he thinks I've gone away and the food might still be here, then he, he, he may well take steps forward. We'll have to see. He's not like a dog, though. I can't really just call him. <laughs> it might take him a few minutes to do that. Well, do you know what? He's earned the right. He's he's earned the right to just stay wherever he wants to, frankly, and uh, quite right too. Lovely to catch up with you. Have a great day. Happy birthday. I believe I'm saying happy birthday to a tortoise, but there you go. I'm now saying happy birthday to a tortoise. And, and glorious St Helena as well. Um, yeah, but he's 190. You, you can you can forgive yourself for saying happy birthday to a 190 year old. Impressive. Um, in case you are wondering about St. Helena, it's around, what, 1,200 um, miles west of South, South Africa in the South Atlantic. Matt's in charge of the weather. Would you like to say happy birthday to the 190-year-old uh, tortoise? Uh, I'll give you that opportunity, Matt. Seems a shame not to. It, it does, yeah. Happy birthday. I hope he's watching. It's Jonathan. Still. If Jonathan, you'd like to do it properly, it? it's Jonathan. Happy birthday, Jonathan. There you go. Happy birthday. 190. Jonathan, Things actually, Jonathan's in St Helena as well, so but I'm sure he'll get the message. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <laughs> At least he's uh, probably a bit warmer than will be over the next week.